Hi, this is board certified veterinary dentist Joe Banyard and in this video we will see an example of dehiscence in a dog after extraction of the left lower canine tooth. Dehiscence means the surgery site has broken down post-op or after surgery. Our patient came in for a painful fractured lower left canine tooth and the tooth was extracted. It was sutured closed and this is what it looked like after surgery. He was sent home with an Elizabethan collar or buster collar and instructions to feed a soft mushy food, no hard food and no hard toys. At the three day recheck this is what the surgery site looked like, not good. That little piece of green grey material at the back of the site is a grain of cooked rice. Now, while to many people cooked rice is soft, it has enough firmness to break down sutures. I should add that other things people think are soft, such as small pieces of baked chicken breast and canned dog food, even mashed up with a fork, can break down sutures. Another cause is the tongue, which is constantly moving, and over time this can loosen sutures. We can't do very much about the tongue, but the other factors we can control and we must. This patient would not allow examination or flushing the sites with warm water without sedation. He was a big dog and he would bite. So after the sedation, this is what we found. He needed sedation. We couldn't get away without it. So after sedation, this is what we found. The site was flushed. And as the owner was not able to flush the site at home, we saw our patient back for sedations every three days and flushed the site until it was clean. This was to prevent buildup of food debris, which would fester and slow down the healing. So if food gets into the surgical site, there's going to be a problem. This is what it looked like at eight days. The patient was awake, so we were unable to get a good photograph and we needed to sedate him for the flush, but at least he allowed us to actually look at the area. At 11 days post-op, the site is filling in and continuing to be clean. Instead of bony walls, you can see pink granulation tissue forming. This is a very good sign. At 22 days, the site is almost completely healed. At this point, no more flushes are needed. Healing continued at home, and no further visits were needed. When he came back to us in a year for further dental work, this is what the site looked like. It looks wonderful, all healed. So in summary, the patient had to be sedated and the site flushed to help healing. And unfortunately, as he would not allow his owner to do it, we did it at the clinic. Some pets, however, will allow their owners to do this, which is ideal as it is best to flush the site daily if at all possible. While it's very unfortunate when this sort of thing happens, with help, these sites do heal, but it takes a lot of work and longer time and of course additional expense. So please do keep those cones on and or at a basket muzzle and keep them on the pain meds to stay nice and comfortable. Thanks for watching and please subscribe, like and share. Bye.